yeah, yeah, I was. I, I'm hoping you could. It's, it's, a winning, it's a winning game. It's one of those things you're trying to do. Even in the pre-season, you're looking at trying to get wins on the board and just the momentum you can build through, through winning games. I was really pleased with the half-time score. We've not made a lot of changes. We'd said we'd go for our first half. Very similar to how you might win in the season. We're just changing the foot rollers, maybe the, the hook around. So we came in at half-time, just nudging it as well. We made some changes. We get down to we get down to 12 men and maybe score a couple of tries again. So it's like, that, that's something we've got to look at where we have to try and play a full game with 13 blokes. Would be um, would be nice, but the pleasing aspect of not just how we started and how we played, but also the fact that when we finished the game, we finished really strong with lots of our young young kids out there, and they didn't look out of place. They looked energised and they looked very very competent in what we're trying to do. And to win at St Helens any time is a big it's a big ask. So it's a, it's a real good win for us. What did you think of the Simbin in? And who was it? Was it Luluai or...? It wasn't Luluai, no. He's Simbin Luluai, but I think, I think Rich needed a bit of help from his um, touch touches on that one. Yeah. But <sighs> I watched it back on the tape. I don't think it was that bad a thing. It didn't, I, don't think, I think he's going to try and tackle him. Yeah. Again, it's, it's, Naz is a big man. He looks a bit cumbersome and clumsy at times. And, yeah, I'll sit down with him and talk about the fact that I still want it. I need him to put pressure on the kickers, but he's got to be more. He's got to be smarter in how he does it because he can't put any doubt in anybody's mind. And the last couple of times he's done it because he's such a big lump. He's, he's, he's put a little bit of doubt in the ref linesman and the, uh, the referee's mind. Um, the incident after, I think, if, you, if we're talking about it, you can't take retribution into your own hands. I'm not sure it was, but there's, I think there's a couple of St. Helens players, one in particular, throwing all three punches and, mm. and McGrath got blood all over his face and Paul McGrath had nothing to do with it. <laughs> so it's got, got signalled out and got a good pace in. But like I said, we, we handled that little bit of adversity really well. Came out the other side of it and um, got some points back on the board and won the game. John Miller was instrumental in that game throughout his attack and defence, wasn't he? He's been great. Both him and Kev have worked really hard together this last couple of weeks. As you push through pre season, you just try and get those. A little bit of a feel for each other and connections in there. And Grant Gore's done the same. And Danny Craven was great when he was playing at loose back, full back. He's worked in the halves as well. I think just that understanding between three or three or four players. And as we push through January, we start not just working on fitness and strength and some core contact skills, but the game and what's needed within the game and those little nuances of staying connected to people and how you work with each other is. It's good, and I think you saw that in the first half with both um, Lloyd White and Aaron Hermia. It said front rowers need to understand which one playing and what is like is slow to quick or quick to slow, and what his service is like off the floor because it makes a big difference to them. And just that consistency and continuity there has been all, been good over the last month. Great for young Hume to get the two match winning tries. It's a good job he scored that first one, I'll tell you, because. Well, Ryan Inch was outside and for his debut try as well, screaming and shouting. <laughs> he, was, he was walking for him. But he, as long as he's got a team next to his name, I can't really argue with him, can I really? So, but he's, again, it's another one that a little bit of patience with. He's got found out a little bit last year, played a little bit in the Championship, did really well with Workington. Good off season again, starts to understand himself and as a young man, starting to understand the game. Showed some real good defensive. Uh, reads as well as some good attacking shape. Anyone injured there, Dennis? We're alright at the moment, as I said, it's always a little bit like that when you win games. Everything's a bit. We've been pre really good actually over this last month. We started to get players back, and like I say it's like the feeding of 5,000 when you come to what's the training session at our place at the moment. Everybody's on the feet, so it's, um, it's a nice place to be. Okay. Our Thank first you. trophy as well, I think.